This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. Anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. Damn. They've still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Of course, it's locked. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Greg's? Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. He was supposed to host an art show just a few days after he went missing. What happened to him? They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Huh. Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah. So cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. 
the Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mmm. Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. Huh. Why do they look so familiar? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me he's got baby fever. Ew, no. Why do men always jump to that? You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Della's Crossing. Damn. It's locked. Well, what did you expect, dum-dum? It's a police station. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Oh yeah, she goes to the Iditarod every year. And she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind of kooky shit people are into out here. Hey now, I'm in the league. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Something's in the way. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like, hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke.
still locked. Hmm. Eddie must have locked it already. What do you know? Still locked. Tyler, you coming? Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Did Brown just flat out ignore me? Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. Ooh, Rose never left me back here. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. left the computer on.
Okay, let's go in.